What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more One Piece. Today we are doing episode 77 through 80. Very excited to be also ending this little mini arc of Little Garden, but also going on to the bigger arc slash saga, which is Alabasta. I was told in my Discord that next episode, episode 78, is the first time I can watch opening two. So I'm very excited to do that. But without any further ado, I just got to watch some One Piece. I can't lie to you guys. It has been days since I've watched One Piece. I need to get into this. I'm super excited. Hopefully you guys are as well. Please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe. Click that bell. Check out the Patreon for the full length, full uncuts, early access, all that jazz. Let's hop into this One Piece episode 77. Starting off with what I assume to be a grieving Broggy. Imagine it raining from someone crying. I know, man. That is sad. I'm right there with him. He's alive. I actually thought, <laughs> I actually thought for sure he was dead. So the fact that bro, he's also shocked. Oh, he just blacked out. Yeah, let's get the response from Sanji to Mr. Zero. That's what I'm waiting for. Is that what he actually looks like? Yeah, you're saying that now at the end of everything. Yeah. Oh, that was actually him. I thought that was just like an illusion of what of what Sanji thought he looked like. No, he actually so he has a scar all across his face and a bunch of rings and shit. <laughs> There's no need. Nail. These are the unluckies and have just confirmed that this is not Mr. Three. They got the blickies. Imagine a vulture with the fucking bat cannon and an otter with the clam fucking claws. This guy's like the C version of Wolverine. Talk about an upward extension of a fucking somewhat flip kick. Oh. He just straight killed the vulture. Are both unluckies dead? Now, the vulture, I'm almost... I, they have to be dead. Holy shit, I kind of like... Wait, is his is he like Tomura Shigaraki from My Hero? Can he like age things? Because that only reason I'd, I just love all the devil fruit powers just amaze me in this. But was he aging the flower in the water? And as it was aging, it was just sucking more water. Or what did he do right there? I would have just lied and said it wasn't the straw hat. It was like fuck one of the giants or something. They were just so worn out, non-sharp and dull after 100 years. That makes sense. That's honestly a pretty good reason. It is a huge miracle. Shouts out my boy Dory. <laughs> Their laughs are contagious, I can't lie. Talk about a happy ending to this little mini art. <laughs> and no further radio contact from now on. But maybe that's why he's not recognizing Mr. Three's voice. Specifically because he only uses letters to increase anonymity in this company. But, uh... Time's required to uh, miss all Sunday his right-hand woman. My man's one of those Mafia Dawn bosses with the swag. His energy could have easily been in, like, the Phantom Troop, uh, the York New arc in, like, Hunter x Hunter. He's got some swag about him. 
and they were bringing in eternal pose yes right for alabasta directly no stops no more no more fucking side quests we're going right there i mean theoretically how is this your fault just because you came to an island and they're chasing you that's them you know it's not your fault vivi what the heck Little do they know Sandy's about to come in and save the day with an eternal pose. Right? Like, we don't have any omnipotent power. <laughs> He's so late to the party. Titillating. Quite the term he could have used. She is down in her bra, so let's keep those knockers away, shall we? They're like, wow, the crazy ass, super difficult, impossible <laughs> item that we needed. <laughs> Thank you, Sanji. That's pretty big. I was about to say, are they gonna turn their duel into a hunting contest, or what are they gonna? What are they gonna do? I hope one day, not only can we see you guys again, but I would love to go to Elbath and see another village of giants. Yes, sir. Especially because he's our master. They're literally dead ass the exact same size. Only in old school shonens like One Piece, Dragon Ball Z, are they fighting dinosaurs and eating dinosaurs, you know? It's just crazy to me. <laughs> they're like, get that bitch filleted. Let's get on the let's get on the I was about to say let's get on the road, but there are no roads. Let's get on the sea. Let's set sail. It looks like they're about to walk out in the sea with you. Ahead is a gr what does that mean? Wait, they're actually gonna help us out in the next arc? For the next little mini side quest. We've made some dank ass friends in this last in this last little mini arc. Straight ahead, no matter what happens. The monster of this sea. What the hell island eater what is the design of this what animals is supposed to be is that a giant koi fish with like human teeth <laughs> a goldfish got it a giant goldfish usopp needs to tell kaya about some of these stories next time we see her because this is literally right up fucking usopp's old stories lane you know like they would love this He is way bigger than I thought. Named nothing at all island. He took a shit and they named it. <laughs> Imagine landing on an island of shit. And our straw hats are dead. they just blast a hole in this thing's stomach what's with this mixture of red and blue this looks fucking crazy is this some of the secret powers of the elbaf nation that hakoku sovereignty they literally blasted a hole through its stomach blasting them forward holy shit All right, on to episode 78. Let's do it. My first time watching this uh, opening, too. I'm excited. I didn't even know we still had, like, a narrator little intro. 
These things cannot be stopped. So many characters we've fucking met already, you know? I wonder if the reason I couldn't watch this is because they show Crocodile in it, because I just met him last episode. Shanks is a squad with Yasop. I need to know more about Shanks so bad. Believe in Wonderland. Okay. Believe in Wonderland. Talk about adventures. We just left an island full of dinosaurs and ancient monsters escaping or with the help of our two friend giants that we just made to escape multiple devil fruit users then to get blasted out of an island eating goldfish. And what show am I watching guys? And that was the end of their hundred years using these sacred weapons, you know? They literally, oh, shouts out to these guys, man, I tell ya. They were bosses of the giant warrior pirates? I don't know that. Are we getting a little flashback of some giant warrior pirates? Look at a young Bragi and Dory. So this is the little girl. The hunting contest, which essentially started their rivalry for a hundred years. Are these the skulls that are on Little Garden? Holy shit. That's why they got remembered that when Sanji brought that up, the fucking hunt or whatever. That's crazy. No matter what they were just about to say, the rivalry continues now. Talk about an ending to a, a crazy story with these two. Is this going to have to do with Nami's bug bite last episode? She looks sweaty, as if like she's having a fever, getting cold chills, all that shit, you know? Imagine if we can make this happen, get her there safely, and stop a civil war and whatever else is going on. We're going to have such strong alliances, you know? I know, right? My man's getting the workouts in. Right? We're constantly reminded about how weak we are in terms of this huge world we're in. So. Bro. <laughs> Talk about working out. Jesus. Alabasta Kingdom Sandy Island. Bon Clay Sama. Un, du, Troy. Is he French? Like, with Bon Clay, yeah. I'd have to assume he's French. <laughs> the designs in the show constantly surprise me, I won't lie. Yeah, can we get this girl some help? She has blurred vision, sweats, a fever. Yeah, she's probably burning up. It is not uncommon to go to a... An island, like a place that, you know, especially has a completely different climate and ecosystem than you're used to. Have a bug that carries some disease you're not used to. Like, it's... Like, isn't that low-key what... Uh, it's completely off base. Isn't that low-key what killed so many natives over here in the Americas? Was Europeans, like, bringing disease that they have never seen? Just fucking devastated them? We do need a doctor. We have... Yeah, like soup? You know, I don't know. <laughs> that is true, but that's why we have to get the advice from a medical professional, and then you can do it. Wow. You guys have never been... Jesus, I'm jealous.
Now they're taking it serious. <laughs> also, this is a little tidbit, but I love the little mini bits of information you guys give me. I don't know why looking at Zoro just doing his little solo workouts reminded me of this, but it's a meme that Zoro's always napping during the day and people like the rest of the straw hats get on his ass for that. They, you know, constantly roasting him for that. But and it's not really confirmed, but it's hinted at in the beginning of this Alabasta arc when everyone's getting all fucked up at um, Whiskey Peak and he's the only one at night to go out there and confront everyone and to get everything squared away. You guys told me in the comments that he's the only one on guard at nighttime when everyone else is sleeping that he's watching over. So that's why he's so tired during the day and constantly napping. And I'm like, that's such a great little Zoro detail that totally fits in for his character. Why? More in our favor in terms of the royal, you know, we're the royal family. But now the numbers are in their favor. Yeah, so we do got to get there quick. So that's why Nami's like, don't worry about me. I get what you're saying, Nami, but your life isn't worth... Ah, I don't know, this is rough, you know. She does need to see a doctor bad. Okay, now she's just being one of those tough girls, you know. I get it. Nami is a legend. Yeah, we have a million lives potentially up for... Up at risk with this war going on. Yeah, if there's one thing Nami is, it is not okay. We need to get her some help, but I, I respect her, you know? I'm down. I've wanted to see Alabasta for episodes now. I'm ready. Let's do it. <laughs> all right as long as you guys go as fast as you can we're gonna stop and we're gonna get a doctor for nami so we need one so i wonder <laughs> well said sanji i wonder if nami is gonna get cured in like a timely manner or if we're gonna have another side quest I'm always down for side quests. As long as they introduce like new cool characters, you know. How bad are we talking? That's the kind of shit that can just pop up in the grand line whenever, willy nilly. <laughs> oh no, she has something. She like felt it. Yeah, she lit like literally. I know animals can have senses like that. Like a dog can tell when a tornado's coming. So I wonder if Nami. Wonder what's going on with Nami. I like how Luffy was wrapped around his entire mask, just to, whatever, just to keep him secure. And now we're snowing again. Imagine being on this ocean. That would be so crazy. I love how they're constantly changing outfits as well, depending on the weather and other activities, you know. <laughs> He's like, yeah, actually, I see a doctor. What is he looking at? Was that an arrow quiver? It looked like he was looking at fucking Hawkeye. Someone standing out in the middle of the ocean. Literally. And he looks like he should be in fucking reincarnated as a slime. He looks like Laplace or Tear or Footman or something like that, you know? All right, on to episode 79. Let's do it. He is most definitely standing on the ocean. Now, is it a devil fruit power? If so, that's kind of broken because you can't sink, right? Or is he freezing the area below him specifically? But there's no way the entire... No, we're literally on the ocean. What? What the hell? Retractable 
submersible walls so you can go what kind of mechanical contraption beast ship with a crown on its hippo head is this the designs are crazy man it is a pirate ship some new pirates i know we were about i want to get to alabasta so bad but look how crazy this looks jumbo underwater raid ship the tin tyrant He just ate his knife too? What the fuck? Let me guess, he's like Iron Jaw or something? He can just eat anything? To the Drum Kingdom. He literally is an Iron Wapo Sama. Big time Sanji kicks. Ooh, I love when he does that fucking handstand twirl kick. We all Zoro also going ham. That shit is clean. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Like a dance. Man, this man's is elegant. Gum gum pistol, gum gum bazooka. And there goes Wapple Sama. <laughs> and he's got the munch munch fruit. Ah, uh, yeah, he might die, legitly. Okay, so we're meeting some new enemies that we might see many episodes later down. Okay, I don't think I was going to forget you, but now I definitely won't. So we got to remember, I was Wapul, he's got his two lieutenants, and they wanted to go to Drum Kingdom. Got to keep that in my mind for a different time. I'm actually going to write that down though. Drum Kingdom. Several days earlier. That is a Navy ship. Smoker. So she was able to find one, Kashu. I might have to have a list of all of them. You guys... You guys told me and you guys gave me a list of like there's super like legendary ones rare semi rare like there's a whole list that you guys gave me so i appreciate y'all <laughs> i'm actually interested in smoker coming along who's this dude This is Mr. Eleven. Oh, yeah. Yep, yeah, we got some crazy shit going on. That's so crazy. They can just contact HQ and get whatever pose for whatever place they need to. The Sand Kingdom. I don't know. Al Alabasta, the Sand Kingdom. Okay, so we got Smoker and Tashiki coming as well. Luffy is funny. Drop anchor for the night. Rest up. Continue hitting this course tomorrow. Everyone fell asleep in your room. Now, I mean, what, look, Karen for you, you know, being nervous for you, scared for you. <laughs> Got Sanji on, on watch tonight. Like, I love how the grand line changes weather drastically, so we have to change outfits like this. Because look how dippy Zoro looks in like a big winter puff jacket, you know? A winter island, okay. Climatically, there are four basic types in the grand line summer, spring, autumn, and winter. <laughs> 
This would be a fire video game. And each one generally has the four seasons of their own. In short, when, uh, when on the Grand Line, there are at least 16 seasonal, lev uh, lev seasonal levels. Summery summer, wintry winter. Okay. So we have levels, literally. There's... Yeah. Okay. This is crazy. From summer Island summer to Winter Island winter. This show is crazy, I tell you. It does look like a winter island. Maybe it's just me. It looks like snowy. He's such a little kid, but he's a great captain. So excited. He's the, he has the excitement for everyone. That's the thing. You guys might not be here to have an adventure, but the adventure finds you, so. Snow monsters would be sick. <laughs> A chronic can't go to the island disease. This place is like fucking Antarctica with chimneys. Like, why does it look like that? What are those? Where is a city? Where is population? Does the ocean start to freeze the more we go inland? I won't lie. I do love snow myself as well. Yeah, Luffy is dressed like for a summer island. Jesus. <laughs> you idiot. You so excited. No? The river free flows all the way up until this waterfall. Oh, melted snow. That's kind of cool. Talk about the population. Here we go. Thanks, Luffy. Who the fuck is this guy? He looks like a toy I had when I was a kid. There are some presumptions people make when knowing you're a pirate, you know? So. Vivi didn't just get shot, did she? One of these guys pulled the trigger? She's gonna be okay. I'm not like, but like, that's fucking crazy. All right, on to episode 80, last episode of the session. Let's do it. So she's, she's good. Yeah, if you guys don't want us to land and stay for any period of time, that's fine. But yeah, we definitely do need a doctor. Uh, she only says that she's correct in a certain sense, but definitely not. He is over reckless and gets a little extreme sometimes, but he is most definitely fit to be captain. See, he quickly realizes how irrational he was and works. Oh, wow. Even. Is, is that a shovel on his back or a sword? Because it looks crazy. Maybe one day Luffy will learn. He's like, wow, hawking actually is a real thing. Maybe I don't need to beat everyone I ever run into's ass. A witch? You guys couldn't have named it Winterland? Snowland? Cold land? Probably like their buddy. Oh, I was not expecting him to be walking on two feet like that. What's up, buddy? How you doing? A hiking bear. Bro, we have a scar right here. We have two feet scars when we were about to chop our own legs off. Like, Jesus. Work on meditation. You can heat yourself up with your own mental powers, all that shit. Big Horn Village. Dalton. So they have a lot of faith and trust in what Dalton says. 
And a lot of them aren't even guards. They're just normal villagers, you know, who just come to help out whenever they feel threatened. Okay. Dalton's a man of respect around here. I like his design. Understandable. I guess, yeah. Now, she said that about Wapol as well. Is it just because she is a princess of a very known nation around here? Or is it something deeper? Does she used to travel? Sometimes Luffy and Usopp just piss me off. I know. I'm like Sanji. The drum Rockies? Has nothing to do with the drum kingdom, right? Because that's where Wapple wanted to go. A castle no longer has its king. So did this used to be the drum kingdom? Dr. Kureha. Right? She's on top of a fucking ice mountain. <laughs> I know, right? I need a doctor and I can't call you. Hundred and forty years old? Holy shit. Older than Dorian Bragi. I mean, sounds like a lady who's just living her life, you know? She's a witch. She, like, probably flies or something. We're we dealing with Santa the Witch Doctor? What the fuck? I'm very interested, to say the least. You know of Dalton saying this. He's got to be kind of eccentric. Nah, sadly we can't do that. We're just letting you know, in case you feel any bumps or, or any, you know, crazy jolts along the ride, it's because we're going to carry up a mountain. She's going to say something like, take me. Let's do it. I'll go. All right. Even Dalton's like, man, these people have some crazy resolves. Okay. Taking her up the mountain. Yeah, let's get her securely fastened to Luffy. Jesus. You don't realize how strong we are, sir, but... Luffy and Sanji not too worried about now. Dalton likes that. So he's going to stay out there with him too. Like a real one. I'm liking Dalton a lot already. He's respected by his villagers. Willing to be open-minded when it comes to things that he disagrees with. Helping out people he doesn't even know. That was out to my man Dalton so far. Really? An advanced medical nation? Just a few months ago? Was this the dream drum kingdom at the hand of pirates? Oh, yeah, it makes a lot more sense now when your country's on the just was destroyed. Edward Peach Blackbeard. Holy shit, not what I was expecting. They only had a crew of five as well. Edward motherfucking Teach. Oh my god. Bro, the teases. Like, they teased Jinbei like 20 episodes ago. We're teasing Blackbeard already. I cannot, like, ooh. Ooh. 
He was the king? <laughs> what? He was the king of the drum kingdom, which is the X kingdom here. This is, we're getting all kinds of information this episode. Oh my God. And they're not even phased. Bro, if you lived on a place with actual rabbits like this, this would be horrifying. They could chop down trees with their jaw strength. And it's good. We're here, the castle. Oh no, we got a, they're huge. They're polar rabbits. Yeah, we just beat his ass. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, watch what you're saying, though. Don't get me wrong. I trust Dalton, but a monarch meeting, only very royal, important people go to monarch meetings. Who might you be, young lady? In any case, don't, don't worry about that. Makes a lot more sense the amount of resources at Wapol's disposal. That man has money. He surrendered. Oh, wow. Yeah, we can't ever respect him. Especially knowing how much Vivi is doing for her own kingdom and country right now, you know? She's putting her life, her friends' lives, everyone she knows' lives on the line. Yeah, she takes that personally. Yeah, this would be the thing I'd be worrying about creating a fucking peaceful nation here is these goddamn polar rabbits. Yep, and here we go. They're coming back. <sighs> so we got to deal with these fucking polar rabbits. Got to still have to meet this witch. And then we have Wapol coming back as well. And then we have Blackbeard fucking tease. That was the craziest thing. Black motherfucking beard. Okay, snowy to be continued. Who do you think? Who are you feeling like out here? Who do you think you are? All right, talk about some episodes. We officially ended the little garden mini arc, and shouts out to Broggy and Dory. Love their flashback and how that related to the hunt, which related to them starting on the island, which related to them and the pride and Sanji and Zoro relating to them and then helping us get off the island by defeating the giant goldfish, the island eating goldfish as some would call, you know, like that's just, this show I will say is insane. Like just the creatures, the world building, the, the way Oda just does not give a fuck when it comes to doing it. You're like, wait, can I have a giant island eating goldfish that creates an island of shit that, you know, it's like, sure. Why not? It's One Piece. Like, shouts out to this man, Oda, for having the the huevos to just literally do whatever he wants out there, you know? Not afraid of anything. And it, oh my god. But we are here on the Drum Kingdom, which is now, I'm gonna call it Icy Island, Winter Island, I don't know. But we're going to help Nami, who's sick. I hope she gets better ASAP. I really am enjoying Vivi on the squad. Um... I disagree with what she said about Luffy being fit for captain, obviously, but he has a lot of learning to do, you know, like he was pretty open minded right there. Even though Luffy is very hot headed and irrational, he's also well, very open minded. Like he's one of the most down to earth guys. Like If you fuck with his people, he'll go to the ends of the earth defending them. But if you claim you're cool without even a shadow of a doubt, he'll be like, all right, what's up, homie? Let's, let's fucking let's chill, you know, like you say you're cool. I'll believe you, you know. Shouts out Luffy, shouts out Nami, Vivi, Sanji, Zoro, Usopp, Karu, everyone, you know, I'm really excited about the squad. I'm really loving the little side quest we're going on right now. Mr. Zero is going to be super dope. Miss All Sunday. Mr. Two looks very interesting, very curious about that. But overall, and Dalton, Dalton's dope so far. And fucking Blackbeard. I'm way too excited. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell. 
all that jazz. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.